we just had a release last night uh, so we have some new features and while I have you here I will uh, yeah, be happy to show them to you so if you still have time uh, feel free to stay if you have any questions about the uh, security feel free to put them in the chat and I will answer them in a minute and then uh, for now I will show you the new additions from update 55 which went live last night um, to start off I want to show you uh, how uh, I will only show the user part so if you go to workspace 365 to support workspace 365.net put the link in the chat there you find an overview of all the announcements but I will quickly highlight some things uh, so this one will be a very nice one for administrators you can now reset all the workspaces to the default one or to your admins workspace so you can do this now for new users but also for existing ones and that's the new addition because previously you would be able to do this but only for new users and now you can set up your workspace like you want it to be for all the users and you can say uh, put my workspace as a template for all the users also the existing ones and they will have the same workspace as you have depending on the permissions of course another nice one is this one you can now set the language of the workspace to Danish. So here you see add tiles, edit your workspace groups. Uh, but we are adding more and more languages. We are now looking into uh, adding Norwegian, uh, German, um, I think Italian. Uh, so if you have any language which you'd like to add, please let us know. And we can do this together. So here you see the workspace in the Danish. Tilfoy naifisser. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see that we're adding new languages as this means that our internationalization is working quite well. And uh, we have partners now in all uh, more countries, uh, which will also benefit Dutch customers, which have uh, people from other countries working for their organization. We'll put it back to English because otherwise I won't be able to show you the other things. <laughs> um, yeah, the other thing is that you can now customize the target of your uh, home button. So why did we do this? Uh, because the home button within the workspace is logical. So when you go to your documents and you want to return to your workspace, you can click on this home button and you'll be back on your, home, on your workspace. But some customers, they only use, for example, our documents application because they want to integrate their file server, they want to simplify SharePoint. So what did they do? They created a uh, document app within Office 365 uh, so that when a user in Office 365 clicks on documents that they don't go to SharePoint or OneDrive but they go to our documents application. And now they can set the home button back to Office 365 so that when a user clicks on it they'll be back within Office 365. So this allows you to integrate our applications like clientless RDP or documents app or email app within your portal and allowing you to uh, yeah to use the benefits of Workspace 365 within a portal. So imagine having a customer who already uses Office 365 but they uh, have difficulties with SharePoint, but they do uh, make a lot of use of the other parts of Office 365, then it might be a nice one to add this documents folder to your Office 365 and then set up the custom home button back to Office 365 instead of to the workspace. So another one which I'd like to see, uh, which I love a lot, is the option to share documents from your recent document tile. So imagine that I just uh, worked on this presentation, a marketing presentation for my colleagues and now I'm finished with it and I want to send it to them. I don't have to go to my documents, I can just click on the document. I can click on share link or attach to email. I'll do share link because I love sending links instead of bulky attachments. I can create the link, I can copy it and then send it in Teams, but I can also click on this email icon and voila, it will be set to the email and I can send it to all my colleagues and yeah, that's amazing. It quickens your process and it brightens your day, I think. 
and also uh, you have the possibility to download and still to open the location of the file. So those are some really nice features which are added. Uh, another thing is that now in the share with me, it's actually not a change. Uh, so here, when you go to manage, you would see remove, uh, but it actually didn't remove the file. It removes the file from your shared list. So we now renamed it to remove from shared list to make users aware that you didn't delete the file, but you removed it from your shared list. And that's an important difference. Uh, so that's why we did that. And the last thing I'd like to show you uh, is one step which we are taking to uh, move to the new uh, grid of the workspace, going vertically and having uh, the possibility to mix groups, is that you can now put your personal groups mixed with your managed groups. So this is a managed group, it's made by an admin and the admin can set the users which see these groups on the workspace. And this is my personal group which I created myself and now I can mix those groups. Before you couldn't, so you would have your managed groups on the right, your personal groups on the left, but now you can manage them like this. So those are the things from update 55. Uh, it's just a little extra because it was released last night and I have you here now in the webinar. Uh, so you are the first ones to see this. Uh, there will be a webinar about this, but uh, hey, you've seen it already now. So you're uh, the early adopters. Um, so I hope you like to see it and I hope that you uh, yeah, have a lot of information now which you can use uh, for your company or for your customer's company or uh, to share with your colleagues. If you have any questions on something from the update or from the uh, security part, please put them in the chat or send me an email. And I'd like to thank you for all your time and patience. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll start selling secure workspaces or start using a secure workspace because people will love you for it because it simplifies their day. They don't have to go to 17 different uh, URLs. They can access one URL with all the applications and access any application being a remote application or a web application within one click and yeah they will love you for it because they don't like downloading things updating things they want to work and they want IT to support that and not to use IT so they want to work and they don't want to use IT so they want a portal where they can simply click on an application and help it. so thank you all for your time and I'll leave the chat open if you have any questions please put them in and uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye.